Hi, in my previous video I talked about the Hotone Heart Attack guitar amp and running it through one of these, the Behringer Ultra GI100, which is a DI with cap simulator. Now the cap simulator in this is pretty good. It simulates a 4x12 guitar cabinet recorded through an SM57. So that's pretty uh, standard setup and uh, oh, uh, the sound I get by using the whole tone with this is pretty good. But I still found the sound to be a little bit harsh, I think is the, is the right description. Um, so I was like, you know, I want like a little bit more flexibility in uh, my shaping my guitar tone. So I was like, well, let's mod this thing. And I actually discovered a mod for this thing, which is stupidly simple. It's literally a, a switch, two resistors and two wires. And actually uh, gives uh, a lot more... Um, a lot more different tones. Um, can I get a bit more darker tones or a bit more brighter tones and all sorts of things. So let's see what it sounds like first and uh, then let's dive into the actual mod itself. Okay, so this is with the uh, switch set to normal mode. So this is the standard sound of the uh, Behringer GI cap simulator. So we can compare it. <laughs> Now let's switch it to mode one. So now we get a much darker sound. So this is mode one. Normal. And mode two. This is sort of the middle ground between the normal mode and the uh, well, darker mode, really. It's kind of my favorite. It's, it takes away the harshness I was talking about earlier. I think this is a probably good middle ground. So yeah, that's kind of the things you could do with this mod. Now let's take a look at the actual mod itself. Um, I'm gonna explain how to do it, how it works. And so let's first take a look at the schematic of the mod. So I'm just gonna draw it. Uh, there's a resistor in the uh, cap simulator circuitry, which is R36. Well, R36, I'll show you where it's located on the uh, a circuit board inside the Behringer later. Uh, R36, um, I believe, is part of a, um, a mid range filter in the cabinet simulator. From what I remember, the uh, frequency response. This is the shape of the um, of the EQ, so to say, of the uh, cabinet simulator. And Kaina attempts to simulate the frequency response of a 4x12 cabinet through a SM57. So as you can see, we have a uh, uh, yeah, pretty normal low end, uh, mid-range drop, and then pretty normal high end with a maybe slight little boost. And uh, what we're going to change is essentially this area here. And we're going to change that through R36, because this resistor kind of controls that mid-rangey area. Now the only thing we need to do really is we attach a switch on one end of R36. It's a freeway switch, so it's a switch with a um, 
with an uh, unconnected uh, middle position, so to say. Now, on one end of the switch, we add a resistor. It's going to call that one R1. On the other end of the switch, also a resistor. It's going to be R2. Um, on the other end of those resistors, we connect them together. And that connection goes on the other end of R36. Well, essentially what we do, we bypass R36 when the switch is one of these modes. So this would be mode 1, this would be mode 2, and this would be normal. So R36 is a probably a 22k resistor and you essentially just bypass it with either a 1k or a 10k resistor to get uh, a different frequency response in this well, mid-rangey bit. I believe it also causes a bit of a roll-off on the high end as well, uh, judging by the sound uh, changing. So let's open up the, uh, the uh, Behringer DI and let's take a look at where, where our 36 is located. So opening the Behringer DI is really easy. You have four screws here, three in my case. You unscrew these and these um, protective things just pop off if they want to. Yeah, thank you. So we put these aside and then we can just lift off this back area and there we go. This is the, um, well, essentially the um, the main guts of the DI. There's also some stuff on the other hand there. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there we go. But all the magic essentially happens on this PCB right here. Well, as you can see, there's already the switch in place with uh, two resistors. Um, so what you want to do uh, next is... Um, uh, remove these two uh, lugs here and remove this screw and then this board will just pop right out. So let's do that. There we go. Now we have our uh, PCB. So let's zoom in on that. So here we have the uh, cabinet simulator circuit. You can see a little chip on there. I'm gonna guess it's a bunch of op-amp. It's probably quad op-amp chip. But uh, Behringer uh, removed the labeling, so... <laughs> they don't want you reverse engineering this. Um, and there's a whole row of capacitors and resistors on the bottom here. Now R36 is the third one from the left. I'll just take um, another resistor as example. Uh, so essentially what you do, you uh, take two wires, you uh, strip them very shortly, because you don't want uh, the legs of the wire to poke any of these other contacts. And essentially what you want to do is press the wire against one of these uh, contacts and solder it on there. Now be careful not to heat things up too much. These are SMD components and they tend to be a little bit fragile and not as heat resistant as uh, normal through hole components. Um, and as for the switch, so this is just a uh, standard single pole double throw switch. Nothing much special. Um, you connect one wire to the uh, middle lug of the switch. To the two other lugs of the switch, you connect the two resistors. You can see the 1 kilo ohm here and the 10 kilo ohm here. And you tie these two resistors together and connect the other wire to that. And that's it. Well, and that's all she wrote, really. So, uh, it's a really simple mod, but uh, quite effective. Um, play around with the resistor values or use a variable resistor um, or maybe uh, there, there's some other interesting mod points on that PCB. I'm sure there are. I'm sure you can change some capacitor values as well, but just be careful uh, with soldering. I hope you liked this video and my uh, explanation gave you some insight into uh, modding your own Behringer at DI. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, all that fancy stuff, and I'll see you guys next video.
Bye-bye.